Hey, what's going on guys? Nick and Knight here, and today we're going to be playing around with a little bit more of the new update, the Grenadier. And right now we are in a position where he is upgrading, but we need him all the way upgraded so we can play around and uh, see if he can take out some actual player bases. And then I'll even go as far as using him in an operation attack. So, first let's start using some diamonds here. So, boom! There we go, level 8. This is going to get expensive, folks. I hope we have enough. I don't know if we do. And level 10. Boom! So he is now maxed out at level 10. 760 health plus the 300 that I have from statue bonuses. 6 unit size, 17,000 cost, uh, 15 minutes apiece. He's slow, very long range, and his damage is 192. So I think it was around 100 at level 1. So he's now twice the strength. So, twice the strength means we need to even go even harder right now. So, now let's check out those stats. Plus 144. So now he's a tank. Let's see if all Grenadiers um, with some good... Wait. Uh, the landing crafts look less awesome now. I feel like they look more basic. Maybe only at max level. Let's see uh, the leaderboards if they still look cool at the max level. Oh no, I feel like they look now all like the lower level ones. Okay, change. Oh, I wasn't sure about that change. Okay, anyway. Boom, NPC base drop. Ooh, 47. Let's attack this guy right here with all Grenadier. Oh, this is actually the kind of base that may work out for it. We've got boom cannons right up front there. And they're going to just throw right at them. So, all right. Go for it, guys. So, I'm going to just shock bomb the key things that I don't like. And let's see how they do here. So, throw in those satchel charge grenades, what are steel hand grenades, whatever you want to say. This is just one of the most fun troops I've ever played with in any game, really. It's, it's just a ridiculous troop. Alright. Um, I'm not sure if it's the barrage or the actual guys doing the damage here. But that's okay. Either way, I'm proud of them because we're going to get our first player base win with all Grenadier. <laughs> Just huck some more grenades. Oof, 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 oof. Come on, blow it up. I'm going to quickly take out that mortar. There we go. Down goes Frantamore. Frantamore. And if you, you are, uh, you got a major blessing, my friend. First, my first victim of all max level Grenadier. Alright, can we do Spirit? I've got Spirit, how about you? I've got Spirit, throw one too. Alright, let's see about if we all drop them in one spot now. We're gonna start playing around with uh, advanced Grenader, Grenadier tactics. So, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we're already pretty advanced at this point. So we're gonna go into the advanced class. And now, when you have advanced Grenadier tactics, you want to... First, I should have my brightness up a little bit more. My iPad's kind of dim to me. You're dim to me. All right. Throw a barrage. And overall, I'd say we're ripping this one a new one right now because the guys are just... Uh, it's the one building if they get them. They just keep throwing it clear over. Next video, how about this? Well, besides, I want to do them all versus terror, which I think deserves its own video because it might be long. Um... I want to do, I want to actually put them in an in attack strategy. I think a row of heavies in front of them can be good. I think Zookas and heavies in them could be good. I think medics, tanks, medics in them can be good. I, I think this really opens the door for new possibilities and we're no longer bored with all warriors, all hookah, all warriors, all hookah, ruka, whatever you want to do. All right. So we still have a few left. Um, this task, this attack, strat. Huh, they weren't even going for the boom cannon, but uh, they torched it over there. Okay, is that mortar? That mortar may have a chance of taking out that one guy, so I'm gonna bring them all back. Bring it back, bring it back. Oh! Ooh, ooh. Drink some water, because we got some time. So, hope you guys are stoked. 
for max level Grenadier gameplay. If you are, make sure you leave a like, let me know you like this kind of stuff, and this is what you want to see more of on this channel, not so much just this troop, but the style of what I'm going about doing this update in here. Um, let's go ahead and get one more player base at attack. There's a 48. Oh, we got a couple 48s because of how low we were. Alright, we could try this one. What's that guy's name? Huliaha? See, I could hold 4 and 3 in my boats because they're level 20, but I could only hold 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of my other boats because they're not level 20. Which means this task force, this, I keep saying task force, I might I keep meaning to say this attack strategy. This attack strategy would be about, I'm throwing a random number out here, but like 20% better if I had all my boats at uh, level 20, my landing craft. Because I'd have, how many do I have? Alright, this is going to take some serious math. So I got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and then I've got 12. So what is that? 27. And I could have how many more? One, two, three, four, five. So I could have 32. So 27 divided by 32. All right, we're getting we're getting into it right now. If the cold wind. All right, grenader, grenadier. I'm doing some hardcore math. I don't think I should have done this in a video. So it's only 84 percent of what it could be. So that means, like I said, I've got 16%, uh, that's exactly what I said, right? I have 16% more potential in what my uh, troops could I'll be outputting. And the fact that I just did that live really blows my mind because someone will probably come up with why it's wrong, but that's okay. Here we go, ripping up hallelujah. Oh, is that what that's supposed to say? Hallelu no, Huliaha. Huliaha. It sounds like a Hawaiian island. I went to Hawaii... Uh, Oh, that was three months ago almost? Dang. Great trip, great trip. Alright guys, I hope you had fun in this video. I'm gonna build them up. Oh wait, I told you I'd attack the operation. We gotta go for the easiest one, definitely. So we're gonna go for this one, 117. Dang, those machine guns though. Alright, so let's try to keep them shocked. Holy dang. Oh my gosh, these guys are slower than molasses over here. Come on, throw some grenades. Good thing I brought a heck of a lot of shock bombs. Commodore! Alright, keep those things shocked. And just chuck a grenade or two already. So fun. I'm going to just wake up and make a max level all grenader gameplay every day before I make no matter what the next video is. That's mostly a lie because... Um, impact. Alright. So down goes the second machine gun. Do I keep ripping up the line of machine guns or do I move on? One more. Let's let's go for two more machine guns, then we'll move on. Or actually let's just move on. Alright, machine guns. Thank you for being a good sport. And now we're heading on to the main core of buildings over here. So here they go. Ooh, ooh. Alright, what's gonna take them out real easy? I'd say those cannons. Boom! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buildings down. Let's see if the fact that they throw grenades into groups really, really works out for me right here. Because there's only single shot buildings, which means I'm gonna lose them quick. But check this out, everybody here. We're going at this base and clearing a path to the uh, power core. Boom! Rip them up like it's 1994. Throw a barrage into that mess of buildings right there, and absolutely, I really like this. Um, this is a new base. Thank you so much, Boom Beach, for adding new bases because I was so we knew how to take out each one, but we were still bad at it, and we uh, everyone wanted a little bit of a fresh new base. So this is awesome. If you guys can't tell, their range is what keeps them alive. If they were walking any closer to most of these buildings, they'd be dying real quick. Let's take out that cannon right there. Boom. Love those blue cannons. It's like blue ahi fin tuna, which is really high grade tuna, which I don't have, but I did make tuna in the freezer yesterday. And uh, I'll show you a picture of it, if these guys take so long. I took a picture of it. I did like seared tuna. There you go. If anybody likes that kind of thing. 
I don't know, I like it a lot. Just like on the side, very plain, a lot of good flavor, black pepper crusted. Man, these guys know how to take their time. My videos are gonna start getting real interesting if they keep taking this much time. One guy left. Let's see his accuracy rating. I'm gonna give him a passer rating. That was about an eight. That was like a four. Is he aiming at the cannon in front? He's taking out everything but. He's he's taking to take out every mine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do it. Get it. That's so funny. I'm going to try to get him in action. One more. There we go. It's just hilarious to watch. He's He can outrange a cannon, which is amazing. But... He's not gonna take- he took out all the mines right there. This is the most hilarious replay ever. I, I love it, I love it. Look at this thing. I- what do I do in a situation like this when you have one grenadier left? But look at what they took out. This whole right side over here. Pretty good, pretty good. This base will definitely go down. I don't have any doubt in my mind. Our task force will definitely take it out. Um... Come on, dude. There's too many of them, man. Game over, man. Game over. 18, we lost 26 out of the 27. 178, oh. All right. I'm gonna wrap up the video there, guys. I hope you enjoyed those Grenadier gameplay uh, raids and attacks, maxing them out, doing an operation with them. I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, for everything Boom Beach and Clash of Clans, you know what to do because you're already doing it. Keep it tuned right here to Teach Boom Beach. I'm Nick Knight, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.